guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Shakura and on this channel we talk about everything that makes me feel beautiful which is usually fashion beauty and lifestyle and today we have mostly a Sephora haul but it's pretty much just a beauty haul okay so let's just get started so I did just say that it's a Sephora haul, but let's start with the things that aren't from Sephora first, and then I'll show you what's from Sephora. You guys, I am absolutely obsessed with body oil. If you're not new here, you know that I talk a lot about the Trader Joe's body oil. You've heard me talk about the Jo Malone dry body oil, and I'm in love with both of them. But I also heard a lot about the Quarterly um, body and hair moisturizing oil. Um, so I had to get my hands on it and try it. I've heard amazing things. It smells so beautiful. And since I just got it, I can't give you my, you know, what I love about it yet. But I am very excited to get it. I've heard so many good things about it. I've also heard that there is a, I guess, a perfume spray or a body spray that goes with it. And based on the way that this smells, I think I might look into that <laughs> because I feel like it would be a good layering, you know, with the body, um, with the body spray and the oil. Um, so yeah, if you have ever tried this, I would love to know your thoughts. I cannot wait to try this. So I tell you guys over and over again that I too am easily influenced and I was watching Angela Denise. You guys, if you are not following Angela Denise, I've told you about her before. She has so much information. But anyway, I was watching one of her videos where she was talking about some of the palettes that you kind of need. And she mentioned the Anastasia Beverly Hill and Jackie Anna palette. This has been out for so long. I'm late to the game, but for some reason, I just felt like it would always be there. Um, but it was on sale so I feel like they're kind of um, I feel like it's kind of dwindling out so I decided <laughs> because Angela Denise said so and then it being on sale that I kind of needed it and I don't know honestly what took me so long I think the thing that was holding me back is that I am mostly a neutral girl so a lot of these colors or a few of these colors I wouldn't use like the purples I probably wouldn't use um, but the pinks can come off as neutral so I know I would use Use that and everything else with the exception of this I'm not quite sure how to use that yet but everything else is fairly neutral and I am extremely happy that I got it it's funny because I was thinking about how I can do a pink eyeshadow look without it looking too overwhelming and I was looking at different eyeshadow palettes I was even looking at the YSL clutch um, eyeshadow palette uh, but that's a lot of money <laughs> and I didn't know how good the eyeshadows performed but because I've heard so much about this and somebody I trust recommended it I decided to pick it up it is I believe it's still on sale and I will link it below and the last thing that I got that wasn't from Sephora is the Chanel hand cream. I've talked, I've spoken about this many times. This is the hand cream that I put in my bag. It is shaped like a little egg. It's very cute. Yes, all the bloggers and vloggers have it, but I like it. I like the formula. I like the way it looks on my bag. I like little cute, pretty things. This is probably something that I will continue to buy to have in my bag. All right, so let's move on to what I got from Sephora. I have been not doing a full face of makeup every time I leave the house. I just haven't been. Um, and I've been looking or been using um, some products just meant to kind of enhance your natural beauty. And you guys heard me speak about them before um, from Merit Beauty. So I, I was actually running out of this cheek color that I need to go get again that I ordered actually, ordered from Sephora. Um, and this color is called Raspberry Beret. And it's the perfect like flush of color for somebody my complexion um, and it's just easy and simple and really really creamy as a matter of fact you guys I'm gonna show you a whole face of me using the Merit products hey girl hey so this part of the video is actually sponsored by Merit so thank you so much Merit I just wanted to show you guys I literally have like five minutes <laughs> I'm over here talking to you but I have five minutes and I've got to get outside it's also like 90 degrees outside and the humidity if you are from New York or have ever been to New York during the summer you know the humidity is disgusting it's not like Florida but 
it is still horrible so I'm not trying to put on a whole bunch of makeup and I'm also just trying to look like put together so Merit is really good for that five minute makeup kind of look so I'm gonna go ahead and use what they call a minimalist complexion and concealer stick I think I'm in the color chestnut and I'm just gonna put this right under my eyes because I am pretty good with my skincare guys but it's just my under eyes that give me a like a problem but it's really just that like um, I don't have a whole bunch of scarring but where I do I usually use this merit stick to cover to cover it up and then you could use your hands to blend it in or you could use a beauty blender I kind of go back and forth but I also put it on my lids because uh, my lids are also pretty dark but do you see how much of a different that made already also different colors and I'm trying to play with some other colors from Merit to see what I can do with them but look it just <laughs> it just made all the difference and I only put it I only put it in certain spots just that little application made quite a difference like a big difference so you could use this as an all-over foundation stick when it's hot and humid like I said you guys I am not dealing with that so I just usually use that as a concealer the next thing I usually use with Merit is their flush balm balm cream blush and I got the color raspberry they have some different colors that I actually want to try but you see how it just gives you just a little bit of, of uh, color I don't like to look too um, red I just need to look a little, give me a little bit dimension you know what I mean and you can see it right you can see how it just gives you just a little bit of color and then I like to add a little bit of highlighter this highlighter is the rose gold you see that little bit of glow that's what I'm looking for right so I will blend that in now as much as I would like to be that girl who has the fluffiest eyebrows I do not luckily Merit has this volumizing eyebrow gel that I just kind of run through my eyebrows to give them a little bit of thickness but this just gives me a natural a little more fluffy look so I have my eyebrows done and all I need now is some mascara this mascara is like a light fluffy looking lash okay so my eyelashes my under eyes my eyebrows were good all I need now is my lips. Mare actually has four colors. I have the deepest one, which is Sangria. You see how it just gives you a little bit of a little bit of zhuzh? Five minutes out the door, you guys, right? It doesn't look too overdone. I look nice enough to be outside, but also you can see my natural beauty. And yeah, that's what Merit's is about. It's a clean brand, which we love. It's available at Sephora. And yeah, thank you so much for Merit for sponsoring this part of the video. All right, so that's how I use those products. And let me show you what else I got from Sephora. The first thing I got may be kind of gimmicky. I don't know yet, but I really wanted to try it because I've been looking at it for a long time. This is the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops it's supposed to be a highlighting serum mix so we all know if you're a skincare person that niacinamide is supposed to have these beautiful effects for your skin and this product is claiming to not only have those effects but also give you a nice little glow I have been looking at this and I've heard mixed reviews and First of all, the bottle's adorable. <laughs> I know, that's not a good reason to buy it. But I did really want to try it. I actually put it on my hand in Sephora, and it was, I'm not gonna lie to you, it was a little glowy. Now, the skin on my hands and the skin on my face are two completely different, you know, ball games. So I will let you guys know how it works. I would love to know if you've already used this before. I feel like this would be really good to use in conjunction with my Merit products because it gives you a glow and then the Merit products kind of give you that natural finished look. So I'm kind of excited to use this. Let me know if you've ever tried this before. The next thing I got was a re-up on my sunscreen. I go between the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop Super and the Black Girl Sunscreen, the matte version. Um, and yeah, I just needed a uh, re-up you guys everyone needs sunscreen if you are not using sunscreen why not everyone it doesn't matter what complexion you are how dark or how light you are 
everyone, especially now with the environment and global warming and everything, everyone needs to be using sunscreen. So the next thing I got was another re-up. I've been using the Paula's Choice Vitamin C and I went back to this because I'm trying to figure out, I'm telling you guys before, I was trying to figure out what exactly my skin was having a reaction to. I don't know if it was the retinol, which I feel like it was, but I was also having a bit of a reaction to that vitamin C. So I'm switching back to some old products. Maybe my skin just needed um, a break. Um, so I'm switching back to this Ole Henkerson um, Truth Serum Vitamin C. It's an oldie but a goodie. It did the job and hopefully I don't have a reaction to it. It also says Collagen Boost. I don't know. We'll see. And I will keep you guys updated because I really was loving my Paula's Choice. I just, I don't know, something just went awry. So I also got two blushes. I went to exchange a blush that I got from Pat McGrath. When I got it, it was broken. So I went to go and exchange it and get um, something, one that wasn't broken. The problem is they didn't have that color in store. So I just decided to try some Sephora blushes. Um, why didn't you guys tell me that the Sephora brand was first of all cheap, like cheap, good price, and pretty good quality. I got these two kind of orangey colors. One can be used as a highlight, but it looks good over the other. The first color I got is Hot Flush, and the other color I got is called Fascinated. This one, Hot Flush, looks really good just by itself. Fascinated also looks good, but more of a highlighter. But when I put this one on top of this, it is just beautiful. What's amazing about this is that they were like $12, $14, something. They definitely weren't more than $20. So, I mean, you could at least try the Pat McGrath ones are more than that. <laughs> but you, I mean, this is also Mama Pat, so you can't, you know, you can't dispute the price on that. But when you just want to try something, this is like, this is a good thing to try. I very rarely buy any Sephora brand makeup. I don't know why, but this is looking like something that I want to try now. Hot Flush is like a bronzy orange, which is beautiful. If you could see that. I mean, obviously, guys, it's not going to look <laughs> exactly like that on the skin. On your face, you have to use a brush, right? So that's the Hot Flush. And the other one, which I said was called Fascinated. Fascinated. So as you can see, the Fascinated looks a little more... Um, a little more red and the uh, and the hot flush looks very orange right these are the different colors and they both look so good on brown skin you guys I got two new lipsticks and I need more lipsticks like I need a hole in the head <laughs> I have just been really loving orange and bright lipsticks for the summer because I don't know it just looks really good on me so I got this from YSL this is number 13 for the pure color satiny radiant radiance it is this beautiful orangey like shiny vibrant orange oh. it's not matte um, which I have matte, of course. That's actually, actually my next lipstick is, is an orange matte, but it's not matte. It's shiny. It gives you a different look. I went into Sephora to buy some other things and was walking around the mall and you guys, every two minutes, somebody stopped to ask me what lipstick I was wearing. It is just, it's a stand out color. If you're a person that likes a little color on your lips, I would completely look into the YSL. I don't know where I've been. I've all been on a YSL lip kick lately. Um, I don't know where I've been, but you guys, this is, it's gorgeous. The other color, orange color I got was from Gucci. Yes, I'm late to the game. This is Agatha Orange and it's a matte and it's beautiful and it's worth every, <laughs> it's worth every penny. As you can see, it's still an orange, but it's a different tone to than the YSL. The YSL looks a little more pinky, a little more pinky red, while the Agatha Orange is a true orange color. Both amazing on the lips, both stunning and beautiful. Just different oranges and just gorgeous. These two things I forgot at the beginning of the video because these are not from Sephora, but I wanted to show you very quickly. I got some samples from the Gucci um, Alchemist Garden line. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. This one is called A Chance for the Nymph, I believe it's called. 
and I got some samples for it because like I said I don't hear a lot of people talking about it and this one first of all the bottle is gorgeous it's beautiful but it's also expensive so I was not gonna blind buy it <laughs> right this one a chance for the nymph if I'm saying that incorrectly I'll put it on the screen smells like coconut and summer <laughs> I don't know if it's coconut I don't know what's in there but it smells so much like a summer fragrance a warm um, I wouldn't say beachy maybe a little beachy but a warm solar just really beautiful color I cannot I mean color <laughs> smell I cannot tell you the lasting power um, I'm not sure about it yet I'm going to try it but I can tell that it's warm I can tell you that it's warm and just I can't think of any other word but solar. When you think of Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, like that kind of warm solar kind of smell, I'm getting that same similar kind of smells from this one too. So I will tell you guys later how I feel about it, if it lasts or not. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. And the last thing that I got is from Killian. So I don't speak about fragrances as often as I used to, but I am still looking at every fragrance video still have a long list of fragrances that i would love to smell and this particular fragrance has been on my list for a while this is the killian rolling in love now some people think that this smells like an old lady <laughs> some people think that it's too sweet i don't think any of that i think that this first of all the almond note i don't know all the notes but i can guarantee you there's almond in here because because that's all I smell oh my gosh I love this to me I don't smell old lady I don't smell super sweet I do smell sweet let me let me back up I do definitely smell sweet it's not overpowering um, but to me this is sensual it's sexy it's sweet it, it's just I love this I know that some people would wear this um, in the fall but I've been wearing it now Oh my gosh, and I love it. I have had the sample for this since it came out. And then one day I was just like, you know what? I have some Sephora points <laughs> and I'm gonna use it. And I, oh, <sighs> you guys, if you haven't smelled it, me personally, this is definitely one of my faves. I would get your nose on it. It's just warm and sensual and sexy. And I just, I absolutely adore it. Well, anyway, guys, that's it. It's the beauty and makeup and everything and fragrances that I picked up recently. And I just wanted to share with you. And now I can put all this away. It's just been sitting here in its bags and its boxes. And it's time to be put away. If you like the video, like comment subscribe share the video and i will see you in my next video